Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's vlog. Um, I am 32 weeks pregnant today and I've got a growth scan at the hospital so I thought I would take you along with me a vlog for the day. George is just downstairs with his dad um, but I'm not sure how long I'm gonna have before he comes up and harasses me so yeah just wanted to come on and say hi really um i'm heading out in i don't actually know what the time is i don't have my phone upstairs but i think probably about an hour so i'm just gonna go downstairs play with george for a little bit get him all sorted for the day um and then i think they're gonna go maybe to soft play or something because it's a bit of a rainy day today um i've got a gray scan at the hospital because i think it's just because george measured small so they just offered me more scans with this baby um even though this baby's measuring on the 50th centile there's no like there's no like particular need for this baby to have growth scans but obviously i'm going to accept because it's another chance to see baby so um yeah just double check that everything is all good make sure the measurements that my midwife has been taking are like accurate ish like based on the like scan i don't really know how it works to be honest they're never that accurate are they especially when they get like towards the end of pregnancy i think it's really hard for them to actually like measure properly because they said george was going to be like under five pounds um and then he was born he was six pounds six ounces so god knows really but yeah, like i said this baby's actually measuring on the 50th centile so there isn't any worries but they've offered me um additional growth scans so i've got one now i've got one in may so maybe that's 36 weeks and then one at 40 weeks if i go over but yeah i don't think i, I mean i don't know but i don't for some reason in my head i've got it in my head that this baby's going to be born in like 39 weeks um i, I know that's so silly because you never really know but um yeah that's just what i've got in my mind i think i think it's where i was induced with george um at 38 weeks that i've just got it in my head that like my babies come early um even though again like george was measuring small and there was reduced movements towards the end and my placenta wasn't did you just knock yeah. shall i leave this in well, you're off to... um no they're not they're in the washing machine Yeah. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, so I think it's where I was induced with George that I just have it in my mind that this baby's also going to come early or I'm going to get induced, which I know is crazy because it's a completely different pregnancy, but yeah, I just, that's my own experience. So that's sort of like what I remember and what I think birth is going to be like. Fingers crossed, I can go into labour like sporadically, is that the word? Sporadically? Spontaneously? Um, and like have you know, labour at home for as long as possible and then go to the hospital when I feel like I should. Can you hear George in the background? I think he got sad because Ash came upstairs. But anyway, yeah, we'll find out a little bit more after my scan um, and hopefully, yeah, we'll just have like a nice little update to see baby again. But not too much else planned, I don't think. Ash is obviously on kitchen duty still. Um, so if you would have seen my last vlog, you would have seen the progress that he has made is amazing um for doing it all himself and just on weekends and stuff and so today is friday you're going to see this on sunday so this weekend he is doing as many of the doors as he can and he's also putting some more bonding on the wall um before the plasterer comes in a couple of weeks time no next weekend i think oh my goodness it's may soon that's that's really scary <laughs> um because baby is due in june and our house is an absolute tip the thing is i am just stopping myself from going like crazy 
in terms of like I really want to nest I really want to get organized I really want to get all the baby girl stuff like sorted um, make sure that I've ticked everything off my list like that is in my nature to do and I've made all my lists and I've done and know what I've got to do but I just haven't actioned any of it like I haven't done any of it at all um because again if you would have seen my last vlog you would have seen the state of baby girl's um nursery and i refused to go through like wade through all the kitchen stuff to get to the baby stuff so i'm waiting i'm just waiting until the kitchen's done all of the kitchen stuff is back into the nursery sorry back into the kitchen and then i can start on baby girl's room organizing everything making sure that we've got everything in place for when she arrives hopefully i don't have to get too much more stuff to be honest, I don't have to get much stuff at all. Um, and I've got my car seat, which is the main thing that I needed to get. Hopefully I don't need to get too much more because I'm gonna try and breastfeed this time and Amazon Prime is an absolute babe if I absolutely need to get some bottles and things like that. When um, she arrives, if breastfeeding doesn't go to plan, then I can just do that. And we've got like shops and stuff in town that you know are just around the corner. So. Yeah, it's not too much of a big deal, but I definitely try and be as organized as possible, but I just feel like the most unorganized person like ever this time round. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. right i'm back from my scan everything was all good baby girl is now measuring so when um i was saying about her being on the 50th centile that's from when the midwives do the measuring at midwife appointments whereas this is obviously slightly different um when you get your growth scan so on my 32 week growth scan baby girl is measuring on the 40th centile and is estimated to weigh yeah four pounds and three ounces already so we've still got eight weeks left of growth hopefully um but yeah four pounds and three ounces so that's apparently on the 40th centile is that what she said yeah 40 yeah 40.6 centile um but everything else is normal like all of her measurements and everything are totally normal so yeah all good she actually said like she wasn't sure why i was having additional growth scans she said it might be because you had a small baby last time um I basically apparently anything under the 10th centile is like small ish and george was on the ninth like i said or at least i can't remember if he actually came out on the ninth or i'm pretty sure he was like born on the ninth centile i'm pretty sure that was why but yeah like i said everything else was fine i have another growth scan in four weeks um and then i have another one in four weeks after that so i've got one at 32 weeks 36 weeks and then 40 weeks if i haven't given birth yet um so yeah that's pretty much the whole update not much to report i spoke to ash and i said as i'm in town should i go and get us a nando's and he said yes it's payday today so i was like right let's go get a nando's so i'm gonna make my do my order go and collect that and then drive home have a nando's i'm very excited for i feel like it's a like a little <laughs> like a tradition every time we come to the hospital we always end up getting a nando's last time we got a nando's uh when i had my bloods and stuff taken and i had my anti-d um injection so and that was only like well that was at 28 weeks it actually feels like yeah so that was like a month ago so that was my last nando's get another one now hopefully i've got a reward <laughs> But yeah, I will catch up with you guys once I've picked my Nando's up and probably ate it back at home and we'll chat a little bit more later. Okay, I'm home. We've had our Nando's. Absolutely delicious. But oh my goodness, this house is upside down. You can tell that daddy has been in charge for like two hours um i walk in i've already been greeted with stuff on the floor that shouldn't be on the floor like a photo frame not necessary and then you kind of just see like the trail of stuff and then you come through to the living room and i've shared this on my stories just now so if you're watching my stories on friday you would have seen i am appalled <laughs> um but yeah so the state of firstly the carpet I have no idea what's happened here and then there's just stuff 
everywhere. No idea why. I'm just about to clean and tidy. The boys are in the garden. I'm just, yeah, this is just not on. It's also really dark in here. I don't know why the blinds are down. Maybe Ash was trying to get George to go for a nap. And I don't think that has succeeded. Wowzers. Do you like our makeshift little wall here as well? Eventually, that wall is going to get plastered when we have the plastering done in the kitchen and that will be like a proper wall and blended in properly and at some point we will get a new sofa but um yeah we're focusing on the kitchen at the moment i'm just gonna open the blinds and sort this room out George has now spotted the camera, so he's trying to film everything. So I'm going to have to do the rest of it without filming. Um, but I'll catch up with you. I know you want the camera, baby. It's too expensive. Should we get you a toy camera? No, I don't want the camera. You want this one? What do we get there? Okay. Okay. All right. Should you help? Can you help mommy tidy and we'll put the camera away? sorted the living room is now tidy i've just turned the light off george was um drifting off on the sofa to coco melon don't judge um <laughs> so uh i've just let him chill in there for a little bit that is all nice and tidy now actually clean as well i've dusted all behind the back of the um tv and stuff as well because that was getting all grotty so i sorted all of that um actually is not dusty and is clean and the carpet even needed like a bit of a scrub so i've done that i will get the carpet cleaner on it at some point but for now until the floor is done in here um we're literally if i'm going in between like the living room and the kitchen with my slippers on like it isn't it's not going to be clean basically until we get the flooring done in here and like all the you know work has completely finished um so i kind of think that it's pointless but yeah I don't know if I've shown you guys, but this is what the kitchen is looking like at present. It's currently Friday. Obviously, like I said, you're going to see this on Sunday. So hopefully by Sunday, there's a bit more progress, a few more doors on and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is the colour of the doors. It's got a protective like um, film on it at the moment because obviously there's dust and stuff. But once again, everything is like ready um and not a dusty anymore we'll take the film off and it'll be like a matte blue so yeah that's how that is coming along i've just spoken to the flooring company as well and they're gonna get their fitter to contact me molly's just barking at the neighbors ignore that um they're also doing work next door so it's like she's just like what's going on guys um so yeah i've spoken to the flooring company and they are gonna get the fitter to come and talk to me um and give us like a proper quote and everything i've decided the flooring i know we're going with this flooring company it's just when they're available to actually fit it which i'm hoping is gonna be uh the week commencing 22nd of may I hope but yeah if we can get the entire kitchen done by the beginning of June that would be my absolute dream because that is when baby girl is due um but yeah it feels like a still like look at it but we're getting some like um some leftover stuff that we didn't need from B&Q picked up next week the plaster is coming next weekend so once the place is plastered think that means we can start painting like yeah hopefully all of the holes in the ceiling and stuff are going to be gone all of these like chasers and stuff that's all going to be plastered and we can like start painting um painting the ceiling is going to be like a ball lake but i'm not going to lie it's not going to be me that's doing it so yeah but yeah we're getting there just feel like it's non-stop because every time there's progress in the kitchen just means there's more mess to clear up which i'm finding a little bit hard but equally i'm not having to like build and 
remodel the kitchen so I should probably not complain anyway yeah I think I'm gonna go and chill with George for a little bit I'm gonna grab a cuppa um see if he'll fall asleep and maybe start editing this vlog okay as George is now napping downstairs he is fast asleep I thought I'd come up and show you the best maternity leggings I have ever ever owned um and found I've just found the best ones I'm gonna pop the like camera down so you can see them but if you are looking for maternity leggings click on the link in the description box because these are the best ones like without a doubt okay hopefully you can see a little bit better these are the mama before and after maternity leggings or sports tights from h&m they are the best things ever they're so incredibly comfortable so stretchy go over the bump but in a really nice way i absolutely love these and they're like a second skin kind of material like they're just honestly the best things ever and i think you can actually have these like for after like in postpartum they're called before and after so i would assume that that's the case and they're just like super high-waisted there's no like particular extra material other than the fact that it goes over the bump I just love them. I love them so much. I want them in loads of colours, but I think they only come in black. But if they're going to come in any colour, black is the colour, isn't it? I am absolutely obsessed. Best find this pregnancy. I wish I'd found them sooner. They're better than the love leggings that I had before, I think. Um, yeah, I just love these ones so much. So I'll link them down in the description box if any of you guys are looking for the best maternity leggings. Your gal found them. I also did buy some more um, leggings from H&M. These are the training tights. These are the dry move training tights. And they're sort of ribbed. And these are in the sort of khaki colour. I haven't even tried these on yet. Because these aren't maternity. And I got them in a size medium. So I got these in a size small. Because they're maternity. And then I got these in a medium. Because they're not maternity. So I'm going to try these on and see what I think. Okay. I'm not going to lie. This might be. They might be a bit tight. <sighs> feel like probably in your third trimester isn't the time to be wearing non-maternity leggings although they fit over the bump really nicely yeah wow for non-maternity leggings these go really high up the bump so they must be like really high-waisted I love these actually and even if I don't wear them loads in pregnancy and postpartum these are going to be my absolute best friend like let me tell you Oh wow, actually no, I really like these. They're not too tight. I'll definitely also link these ones down below. Like I said, they're the dry move sports tights, non-maternity. Got these in a medium, highly recommend. Definitely wouldn't have gone for a small though. So medium was the definite best shout for me. Also for any of you pregnant galleys out there, or even just people that like to be comfortable, I want to talk underwear because <laughs> this pregnancy I have found like the perfect underwear and I think to be fair I found them like towards the end of my last pregnancy but I found them like straight away because I knew exactly what I was looking for this time. So in terms of bras, get these ones. These are the... I don't even know what they're called. I took a picture of them in Primark. They're from Primark, set of three best like non-wire comfortable bras out there <laughs> like they're just so so good i think they're like 11 pounds for a pack of three which let's face it is pretty good so comfortable i wear them every single day and yeah i think i got a medium and they're perfect they don't have any like clasps or wires or anything like that like i say i wear them underneath absolutely everything hardly even a bra like it's just more of a like crop top type situation they've got padding in there that's removable i would say if you're washing them though definitely remove the padding because the padding doesn't hold up very well um and maybe like hand wash the padding or whatever if you wanted to but yeah they're the best bras that i've been able to find and what i'm living in and also if you're like going to be breastfeeding it's really easy to just whack your boob out if you wanted to but i have got some stuff for my hospital bag so i think i might show you that all right let's start off with something that i was sent in the post by the lovely girls over at something a bit different so I had a version of this when I went into the hospital with George. It was obviously, what, two and a half years ago. Um, so it's changed a little bit. They've adapted a little bit. And they now do suitcases for hospital boxes. I am obsessed. I can't believe it. Right. Firstly, how gorgeous is this? Absolutely stunning. I'm going to be using this bag 
for my like hospital bag and then I'm going to have a little bag for the baby stuff which is inside which is what I'm going to show you oh I love the case so much it's like a hard shell case so it's not going to get all squished I'm so going to use this afterwards as well and then this is the bag that comes inside it says mummy let the adventure begin I had a bag very similar to this um when I also got married because they got they do bridal bags and stuff like that as well bride to be bags and they also do like bridesmaid things they do so much on there honestly it's my go-to place something a bit different is my go-to place for gifts um for anyone that's pregnant expectant mothers new mums people that are getting married like it's just the best thing ever i got one for my best friend when she gave birth this time last year and she absolutely loved it she thought it was the most thoughtful amazing gift ever i told my mum about it and she's getting one for one of her work colleagues um who is also pregnant um they're all going in on a big gift for her from something a bit different so i just rave about this company so so much i love it um but yeah let me show you what is inside this uh, hospital bag for baby so firstly you've got the hospital checklist hospital bag checklist which has all of the things on it that you would want and i need something like this i absolutely love a little checklist you guys know i think i have done a little list of things that i need to purchase on my phone or things that i need to pack obviously haven't really started yet but i've started thinking about it at least it's sort of like where i'm at so the first few things is this first moments book which is just so cute like gold pages on the rim i just love it so much first moments you can write in when you're in hospital and you first meet them i know in my last version of this there was a card that i wrote in the day after george was born and i was crying my eyes out um and it's something that i'm gonna give him on his 18th birthday um or so he said God knows where that is. I think it's in his like special box of things that we've kept. Um, I'm really hoping it is, but yeah, I wrote something down like when I was in a hormonal state after first meeting George. So I'm hoping to do something similar for baby girl. And then we've got a little hat. How cute is this? We've also got some little slippers. Look how cute these are. George still has his worms of these and he's got the sheep. So baby girl has got the bunny rabbits and George has the little lambs, which are just, oh, it just makes me it just makes me so excited face cloth which can't go wrong with a face cloth we'll definitely be using that in hospital because nothing makes me happier than washing my face um and i feel like after birth especially is like a moment when you need just a little bit of like serenity and yeah definitely going to be using that in my first shower and then there's also a few little bits in here there's some baby wash and some baby lotion i think to be fair they might actually be for the mum yeah, maybe, maybe they're not for the baby, maybe they're for the mum. Um, but yeah, you can use these in hospital for your first shower if you wanted to. Um, and then there's also a little scent. I've actually used this scent loads of times because I've had a few of these bags now and it always runs out because I always have it in my purse. So I'm going to grab that and have that in my purse as well. Little toothbrush, cute little bamboo toothbrush, hairband, absolute essential. And then also some lip balm, absolute essential if you guys have used gas and air you know that lip balm is an absolute essential my favorite thing and i'm so glad that it's included in this one because mine is so old now well it's a couple years old and i wear it every single day um and it is the toweling dressing gown from something a bit different it says mummy on it i don't even want to undo it because it's so like beautifully soft and like all rolled up perfectly i took this to hospital last time and i actually wore it non-stop because although it's white which did make me a little bit nervous it's made out of towel um but like a really soft towel and also it's a dressing gown so it's like a two-in-one kind of thing like you're gonna feel cozy and you're gonna feel comforted but also you've got a towel for the showers and stuff so you don't have to use like nhs towels i don't know i just really like this um and my one like i said i haven't washed that either in like I don't know, like three months, so it probably needs a bit of a wash as well. There's also a little eye mask for mum, which I think sometimes when you're in hospital, bright lights, you know, you hadn't had much sleep and you just need a bit of sleep, and these are actually a little bit of a lifesaver, so I've got that as well. Some nappies, little newborn nappies. They're so small, oh my goodness. I can't believe how small that is. Like literally 20 minutes ago, I changed my toddler's nappy, and the fact that this is going to be a nappy size that I'm going to be using on the regulars like wow I can't believe it there's also some wipes in here these are like the 100% compostable wipes um and they're also like unscented and like no perfumes and stuff 
so you can use them on newborn skin which is lovely and then also a muslin which i love is a swaddle blanket muslin as well which is my favorite kind of muslin i don't think for the first six months of having a baby i ever left any room without having like a muslin draped over my <laughs> shoulder whether i had the baby or not it was like a habit um and it was like a always a muslin swaddle blanket type thing because you can use it as a swaddle but equally it's just nice to have like quite a lot of material for any potential product or vomiting situations for example we've all been there um and this one looks like a really cute one so that is everything that came in my bag there are loads of different versions of this though so you if you want to get like the complete set there are ones that come with so much more and if you want to get like a small a slightly smaller different version or just like some of the things that i've shown you then they also do that as well you can build your own box it's, honestly i just rate something a bit different so much i love 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 that company and have done ever since i used it with george two and a half years ago so highly rate the start of my hospital bag packing so obviously i will take out and put things in and vice versa but these are the bags i'm going to be using this will be baby's bag and then the suitcase will be my bag um two things i picked up from primark i wanted to show you were the granny panties that i mentioned earlier so these are like the same silky material but they're massive um, and will cover me really nicely i'll feel nice and secure but they'll they're really really soft um and like a lovely lovely see that kind of material i don't know what it's called um and they were on offer for five pounds for a pack of three i believe um and i got them in a medium which is 12 to 14 i'm gonna still like be very big from pregnancy and stuff that doesn't just disappear <laughs> um so i've got those for hospital i am also planning on getting some of those disposable like nappy like nappy type things disposable underwear i don't really know what they're called um i think there's some from like tenor lady or always i can't remember the black ones basically they're the ones i'm gonna get and then i also grabbed these sliders from primark just for the showers i do love a slider i took my birkenstocks last time to the hospital big mistake like yes they're comfortable like the most comfortable sandals you'll ever ever wear birkenstocks love them not the best for showers because you can't get them wet so i just bought these ones because yeah they're just nice and easy for the showers other than that, the things that I've thought about so far, definitely not an exhaustive list, but the things I've thought about so far um, for my hospital bag are things like frosted bags. So I have started using like frosted bags when I, whenever we go away and they're just a lifesaver in terms of just like having organised spaces for things. Um, and last time in my hospital bag, I used sandwich bags and had little outfits in different sandwich bags. The only reason I haven't put sandwich bags is because I think they're going to be too small. Like, I want to do it for my stuff as well. Um, and I feel like sandwich bags will be too small for me. So I've actually got either frosted bags that you can get from Amazon for like six, seven pound, I think, like 25 of them. Or I've put packing cubes um, because then I think I can reuse. I mean, I can reuse frosted bags as well. Um, and I can reuse packing cubes for when we go on holiday and when we go on trips away and stuff like that. And I've always kind of wanted some packing cubes anyway. And there are actually some really good ones on AliExpress that my friend Leone has recently put up on her Instagram. She's going into labour hopefully any day now actually she's gone past the 40 week mark yeah so she posted some packing cubes on there from aliexpress which i'll link down below i'll link anything that i've mentioned down below if i can yeah i might just get some packing cubes for my hospital bags just keep everything nice and organized and then in terms of other things you'll see that i've got button down pajamas which i don't really have like i've got some I'm thinking some short sleeve button down maybe shirts or something like that which i need to get i want to get a couple of pairs of those toiletries obviously um maternity pans massive massive must um and then a peri bottle which i actually do have i think i've got that. my peri bottle i used this last time i kept it absolute win if you know you know if you don't know <laughs> then yeah putting lukewarm water in a peri bottle for your first wee dilutes the wee and it doesn't sting after you've given birth trust me this is an absolute winner. Um, a lot of people say you can use a jug or like get in the bath and wee or whatever. Obviously in hospital, you're not gonna have a bath available. I just think everyone needs one of these. Um, so I've kept mine from two and a half years ago, popping that in my hospital bag. So yeah, I've got that, thankfully. Um, I've also got disposable underwear that I need to get, witch hazel, 
um, which is really good for healing and helping um, like recover and cool and soothe down there if you have stitches, even if you don't have stitches. Um, I used it religiously last time. I had like witch hazel pads in my pad um, and they were a dream. So I'm gonna get some form of that. So yeah, I'm just gonna look into like what kind of witch hazel kind of products there are out there at the moment. Spritz for Bits from my expert midwife. I used a different version last time, but Spritz for Bits is like the well-known absolute needed thing for down there after birth again anything to help soothe that area is a win from me and then breast pads obviously i am going to try and breastfeed i don't think my milk's going to come in um like hopefully when i'm in hospital because it probably comes in like two or three days afterwards or three or four days afterwards but um i'll br take a few breast pads with me seamless underwear and rubber, um, rubber sliders which i have shown you and then i've also popped on here cali fig which is like something you take basically it's a fig it basically helps you it's like a sore softener <laughs> basically it helps you uh have a softer poo uh after you've given birth and that first poo is also terrifying because you just think you're just gonna fall apart down there hopefully you won't um but yeah i've popped that on there so these are just things that i've thought of like randomly when i'm like washing up or something and i've just been like oh i'll add that to my list i haven't gone through every single thing that i need to pack obviously but if there are any like absolute gems that i have forgotten which i'm sure there are, there are loads of things on here that i haven't actually put on but these are things that have sprung to my mind that i thought i need to write this down yeah obviously i haven't got anything on there for like snacks or baby just yet like i know what the baby's gonna need and snacks i am gonna go mental with the snacks i'm not gonna lie because we ran out last time i was i think like obsessed with having like a small bag last time like i was just so obsessed with not overpacking and not seeming like I'm being too extra. Whereas this time I'm like, I don't care. I want as much as I possibly can have to make me as comfortable as possible um, at this birth. And I know on this snack list, there are gonna be Percy Pigs and there are definitely going to be um, some Lucozaid isotonic drinks, like the sports one, the raspberry sports isotonic drink, Lucozaid. Oh my goodness. That is my dream drink. I love that drink so much. It's my hangover cure. It's what I had after I gave birth to George. Like it just, that drink has the power to like see me through. So yeah, um, there are definitely things that I'm gonna add to this list obviously, but this is the start of me thinking about my hospital bag, which is, it's just so exciting, but also completely terrifying. <laughs> I'm also really lucky that I filmed the last time that I packed my hospital bag. So I've got videos on YouTube. I've got videos on YouTube of what I packed. And then I've also got a video on what I used from my hospital bag. So after I gave birth, I did a video of like what I actually used from my bag, um, like a reaction kind of video. Um, and that's like one of my most viewed videos ever is that hospital box, um, hospital bag like video. So I am going to rewatch that. I'll make a list based on what I used and what I didn't use from that video. And then anything extra that I think I might want this time round to make it slightly, you know, just better if I can. Um, yeah, it was quite good last time, to be honest. I don't know if I'm forgetting things, but I feel like I had a quite a positive birth, quite a positive experience. I'm giving birth at a completely different place this time. Like, it's a different baby, different pregnancy, different everything. I feel like a completely different person, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it can be completely different, who knows, but I'm staying completely open and hopefully I do get to have my sort of, you know, natural vaginal birth, um, like maybe even a water birth if I don't have to be monitored and stuff. I just want to try and stay as calm and as chill as possible. Um, I kind of hopefully will know what like the feelings and the urges and stuff are when they're coming this time. Whereas last time I was like, I don't know what's going on. I was trying to hold my baby in. Definitely will not be doing that this time because I'll know what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's sort of the plan. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to chuck all of that stuff in the bag and come back to it another day because I don't think I'm quite ready for it and going through all the kitchen stuff that's currently in the baby's room as you saw in the last video like it's just chaos at the moment so I will come back to the hospital bag once the kitchen has sorted but I'll be going through all your comments so please let me know what the best things that you packed in your hospital bag were things that I might have forgotten like tell me everything because I'll be going through all the comments I'll re-watch my videos uh when it comes to actually packing my bags and then obviously I'll show you guys what I end up taking but yeah Eight weeks, guys. Eight weeks. Fingers crossed she stays in that long because <laughs> I feel like I need the time. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Because you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take
all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby.